In an unexpected turn of events, a church released their pastor. Tempers flared, words flew about the meeting room. The church leadership wrestled with their decision, but they stuck to what they believed was God's leading. The pastor vacated the pulpit, feeling stunned, unprepared, and devastated. Months passed, and bitterness took up residence in his heart. What had he done wrong? Why was the congregation so rejecting? How could he ever move on? Well, eventually he received a call to another congregation and moved to a new city where he drove roots down deep in obedience. From time to time, a twinge of the previous wound tore through him. And in such moments, he paused to pray for his past church family and he asked God to help him to truly forgive from his heart. One day while reading Matthew chapter six, verses 19 through 21, Jesus' words nudged this pastor's heart. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. And he recognized an urge to action that he obeyed in that moment and continues to obey each moment today. Resisting the destruction of elements like moths, rust, and thieves from verse 20 that were stealing his joy, he wrote a check to the previous body of believers. A pastor's Christ-centered gift toward the good of his former church forged forgiveness in his being. A giving heart can become a forgiving heart. Is there someone you need to forgive today? As you've received God's forgiveness in your own heart, might you invest in their welfare so that love for them might follow?